Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, finally, we're posting our April Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus. Uh, if you guys are new, Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus, basically my mom has an Ipsy Standard, an Ipsy Plus, and a BoxyCharm subscription. So do I. Each month I take our two of each of those said subscriptions and I compare the two and I figure out what I like better, who got the better bag as a whole, and then I pick out my five favorite products. I've explained it in, in two other videos that we filmed as well, but just so it makes sense as to why this is April's bag now posting in mid-May. Partially it's just that I'm being a slacker with filming right now and I apologize for that, but it's also partially because now that my mom and I are not living together, we live 30 minutes away from her, it is much more challenging to go get the bags and to uh, compare them. So we're waiting for like all of her bags to come and then somebody goes and picks it up or she drops it off. And then when we're done filming with it, I bring it back to her. So it just winds up becoming a timing thing really is like we're waiting for all of her bags to get here. I'm waiting for my bags to get here. Whereas before when we lived together, as soon as they showed up, we could just go film it. So it is gonna start being a little bit later posting. Hopefully um, I might be able to do it closer to the end of the month rather than like the middle of the next month, but we'll see. Um, I will say, I don't remember much about my Ipsy Plus, but my mom hated her Ipsy Plus in March and I talked to her more in depthly about it. Um, and then I felt a lot of that when I was customizing this. And when I talked to Drea, who always shares what she customized, she kind of felt the same way I did as well. It was just kind of an underwhelming month. But really the biggest issue is like the bag itself. I remember I didn't, it's not bad products. It's just like I was choosing things that I didn't necessarily want. And it was like the only thing that I wanted from all of the categories, if that makes sense. Like the products weren't awful products. I think the value was there, but it's just like, I didn't have a lot of options that I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get good use out of it. It was like, I chose the only thing that I felt like I would even use. And that's what my mom has been saying. She's like, it's not that it's a bad bag. It's not that it's bad value. It's just that they're giving me options that I don't feel like really are things that based on my profile, I should want. I think she felt like that about April as well, but I'm not positive. I know I did, but I don't remember what I got. So we'll have to see. All right, a lot of that's a lot of exposition, but let's go in. So I always start with mom's bag. So we're going in with hers first. She does add-ons a lot and it looks like she went through and took out any add-ons and that's why her bag was open. So I'm just gonna pull out all of her stuff and we're gonna go from there. I talked about it with the little Ipsies, which I think we'll probably post after this video post. So, but I love I love the theme. I thought it was really cute. Um, I actually was kind of hoping that the Ipsy Plus was gonna be that same canvasy material, but it's not. It's like a kind of like a smooth, more material, but still really cute. And I do love having both the little bags. I think that's precious. Uh, so the theme was Force of Nature, it's like little sea creature things, like little corals and stuff on the bag. So yeah. All right, first thing she got was the set of Shayna B brushes. Uh, they're eyeshadow brushes and uh, they look like they're decent. I like Shayna B products, but they're like not the most expensive if I recall. We're gonna see what the bristles feel like because I think that says a lot as well. They feel nice. They definitely feel nice. So the thing with brushes is I feel like we're seeing them a lot all of a sudden. I don't, I'm not complaining. I told, I, I've said it before, the more brushes I have, the less I have to wash my makeup brushes. So it's not a bad thing, but I just feel like, like I know the past like three or four bags I've gotten eyeshadow brush sets. So, all right, next thing we have is from Derma E. It is a hydrating night cream with hyaluronic acid and green tea. Nice size, two fluid ounces. Definitely think it's something that she's gonna get use out of. Think it's something, I think I picked this as well, or they picked it for me, one of the two, but definitely a good size. Um, I do like the product a lot. Uh, I think it's gonna be a nice little addition to my skincare routine, and I think my mom probably is gonna feel the same way about it. The next thing we have is a Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. And it is a hydrating glow primer. So I was wondering if it, it kind of looks like the shape of it kind of looks like a lot of like um, pore filling primers, but I don't think it is. I'm thinking it's gonna be more like the Becca that like gives you that nice illuminating factor. Um, but I haven't honestly, I haven't used a lot of Pixi by Petra products. I've used some, I've gotten some in Ipsy. So I don't know how this would be. I mean, it's, it's something I would definitely try and I do like getting primers, so. Uh, the next thing we have is from Item. I like their packaging. I don't know why. Something about the orange like effect around it. Big fan of that. Uh, and this is a Fast Pass Natural AHA Cleanser for oily and combo skin. Definitely think it's something I would get good use out of. Um, I think just for the fact that my mom is really into skincare, she probably will as well. I don't know that she normally has like oily skin. I'm much more oily than she is, so. Um, but it's a really nice size. I wonder how much. 
Oh, this is three, like almost three and a half fluid ounces. So that's definitely a good size, nice little cleanser. And it's like just the nice little pump. Uh, I'm, I don't remember if I, this might've been something that I got as well. And if it is, I'm gonna be really excited to try it out, so. Our final product is from a serum kind. It is a facial serum. It is a purple cabbage drop. That's, that sounds like almost dangerous. Cause I've like, don't get me wrong. Cabbage is a wonderful product to help with anti-inflammatories. In fact, my mom and I, for a very long time, my mom would freeze cabbage leaves and then she would rub them on her legs to help with swelling. Um, we would soak them and we would freeze cabbage leaves and then soak them in baths when we took Epsom salt baths to help with anti-inflammatories. Really does reduce swelling, absolutely understand it. The reason I say, I, it, I hope they've done it well because it's not, it's gonna stay, like, the, like purple juice would get everywhere if we use purple leave so all right so okay cool cool nice size it's just over a fluid ounce nice size and they've diluted it a little bit so hopefully it wouldn't stain your skin purple i still would be like precautious when using it um just because i know like what cabbage leaves how they can stain they stain the f out of my bathtub i had to scrub it really hard with a lot of bleach so Yes. Okay, so overall, mom's bag is a quality bag. I'm sure the value, I wish I had the value breakdown, I don't. I'm sure the value is high though, because there's a lot of skincare stuff and we all know that skincare is pricey. That being said, she, I remember her specifically saying she really didn't get any makeup options at all. Um, I do believe I had a palette at least, if I, I'm trying to like dredge up that memory, but it's way deep, it's way deep in there. Might as well have been a year ago. But I mean, it's they're good products. It's just, I understand what her complaint is, if that makes sense. Like there's not a lot of makeup options for her to choose. And because of that, I think she's kind of just like, she's definitely closer to wanting to cancel than I am. I'm like, I've had a couple bad months. I've had a couple months that maybe weren't even the greatest because it's not that they're necessarily bad. It's just sort of like, eh. Oh, I guess I probably shouldn't put that away because I gotta, I gotta figure out what I want, so what I want to choose, so. All right, went ahead and opened mine off camera. First thing I see is, yes, I also got a brush set. I actually think I might like mom's brush set a little bit better because of the bristle heads. Like they look similar, but just like, I feel like hers have a little bit more like blending brushes, which is what I typically use. They don't feel bad, I, I don't know. This is from Bean Gotches. I don't, I've never heard of this company. I have heard of Shayna B, but I've never heard of this company. So yes, but once again, another brush set, a totally different brush set, but still a brush set. So we are starting to see that repetitiveness and that's an issue. I think it just needs to be more variety if, if yeah. All right, yes, I did get, I did get a palette. It is from The Balm. And I like The Balm. Like they're not, they're not one of my favorite eyeshadow brands, if I'm being honest. We see a lot from The Balm with Ipsy. Um, but they do have decent products. So I'm, I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on it. <sighs> Actually way prettier. I remember looking at it on the computer and not liking it as much as I was hoping to. Actually way prettier than I was expecting in person. A lot of really nice kind of neutral shades, good variety of like kind of like not even harsh shimmers, but just a little bit of that sheen to it and matte. So yeah, I definitely think that I'm gonna get some decent use out of that palette. Um, so yeah, not a bad thing. And this is uh, the Bomb and the Beautiful is the name of this. I do like their packaging, I'm not gonna lie. Even if they're not like my favorite brand, their packaging is pretty adorable. so. Oh, wow, my box is way different than what I recalled. I got none of the same pro project products. Sorry, this is like the last of three videos. So I've been talking straight for an hour, but. Yeah, so it's very different than what I thought. So she was all skincare. I didn't get as much skincare as I remembered. I thought there was more, but I, I was apparently wrong. I was like, wait, is this my May bag? And then I was like, no, cause that's the X. So yeah, this is definitely April. I don't know, I don't know. I'm like having a, a slow breakdown at the moment. I don't know what's happening. I do remember I chose the Avant Pro Collagen uh, Primer because Avant is like, hefty price tags. I mean, like their products are well over $100 normally. So I was like, well, let's go ahead and go with that. I have used quite a few of their creams. I like them. I have not used a primer. So I said, well, what the hell, let's try it. So I, that's, I picked that up. Um, I also got this Renew Scalp Therapy and I'm really excited to use this um, because 
I've been taught, I've talked about it in several videos where I'm having really bad dandruff right now. And so this is supposed to be like a gentle exfoliator and it's supposed to help like remove some of the buildup of like residue of hair products and in, uh, dirt and sweat and everything else that winds up building up on your scalp that doesn't necessarily come out when you just shampoo. Uh, so I'm excited to try this. Really nice size, like three and a half fluid ounces. It's from Numa and I'm hoping it can do some help for my hair. It can do something for my hair. Last thing we have is a, I think it's K-Voss, is that right? I, I, yes, K-Voss was what we're going with. A highlighter. I don't know why it's a highlight. Oh, it's a highlighter, but it's spelled H-E-Y-E. -E. It's a highlight. I'm not okay. Pretty, really pretty shades very good range of them from like a lighter shade to kind of blush and then you got your like dark kind of almost bronzing shade i love highlighters so i'm a big fan of it excited to test it out this is actually going to be a challenging one to pick out which bag is my favorite i actually really like the skincare in my mom's if i'm being honest i think if i had to choose a bag that i like the best i would choose my mom's just honestly i think i think if i had had the option i would have actually chosen mainly skincare for this because the makeup that I got is like cute, but it's nothing that it's like, oh, like, like I have a highlighter palette that's very similar to this. The pa eyeshadow palette's pretty, but it's not like my favorite. It's not show stopping. So I'm going to be honest. If I had to, I would definitely choose my mom's bag. If I had to assemble a bag with the five top products, I would go the Avant primer, my scalp thing, because I have high hopes that that's going to help. And then I would choose um, the cabbage serum, the item uh, cleanser and the Derma E night cream. So it would be all skincare and then one scalp care. I, I understand why my mom is frustrated with it, but at the same time, her value is like, that's, that's why she hasn't canceled yet because the value of these products is definitely there. I mean, these are all great products and, and it's funny to hear me say like, oh, I would choose skincare over the makeup that I've gotten because I used to be the total opposite. I used to be like, I don't care at all about skincare. And then 2020 happened and I barely wore makeup and I did a lot of skincare. So it's, I mean, it's interesting. I understand her frustration. I, I definitely felt like this is one of the weakest months we've seen both with my, both with the standard bags and with my plus. I have higher hopes for the standard bag for May. I don't remember what's in it, but I know I liked my Glam Bag X, what I was able to customize for that. So I'm excited to see that come in and, and to see that uh, be done. So. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Ipsy, how you're feeling, how you liked April, how you're feeling about Mays, whatever. I, I love to see your guys' comments. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.